Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So in this one I'm going to be showing you how you can copy an image to the clipboard with JavaScript. So in my project folder for testing I have three different types of images. I have a JPEG, a PNG and a WebP image. So I'm going to be showing you how you can copy all three different types of images to the clipboard. And in my HTML document I've got an image and a button element and I've selected both of them already in JavaScript. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to add an event listener to the button element. I'm listening out for a click and when that occurs, this function I'm writing now in the second position will fire and what I want to happen is a function to fire that's going to copy the image to the clipboard. So I'll define that in a moment and I will call it copy to clipboard and I'm going to define the function so that it accepts an argument and that is going to be the src of the image element in the DOM. Okay so now I'm going to define the copy to clipboard function so it has one parameter which is the src Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do inside this function is get the image. So I'm going to do that using fetch, setting the endpoint to the value of src. Now fetch is promise based, so you have to wait a little bit for the result. So in order to be able to handle that, I'm going to turn this into an asynchronous function. And that enables me to use the keyword await within it to wait for the result of promises. So what using fetch returns to me is a data object with a readable stream on it. So I want to read the contents of that readable stream and I can do that using the blob method. And that's going to return a blob to me, which is just a way of storing a file-like object in JavaScript. And now what I can do is write that blob to the clipboard as a new clipboard item. So to write something to the clipboard, you call navigator.clipboard and you want the write method on clipboard. Now inside the write method, you pass in an array, even though it's a single item we're passing in. And you want to pass in a new clipboard item. So you use the clipboard item constructor for that. And this accepts an object. Inside here, you want to define a single property where the key is the mime type of the image and the value is the blob itself. So you can define the mime type dynamically by calling blob.type. So this is going to be the value of the key and the value itself is the blob. Now for best practice, you also want to include some error handling here. So I'm going to pass in what I'm doing inside a try block. Okay, now writing to the clipboard is an asynchronous process, so I'm going to use a wait before that as well. And once that's done, if it's successful, then it will log the message success to the console. If not, a catch block is going to run, and that's simply going to log the error to the console. Okay, so let's see the result of this in the browser now. So I'll refresh, and if I try to copy this image, you see that there's a problem. It's telling me that type image.jpg is not supported on write. So this solution so far, it doesn't work for a JPEG image. Now let's try with a WebP format image. Just change the SRC of the image for that. Click copy, and I get a similar message telling me that that is not supported on write either. Finally, let's do it for PNG. Now this time I get the success message. So to be sure, I'll open an instance of paint and copy the image in. So you can see it's definitely working for the PNG, but it didn't work for the JPEG or the WebP. So at the moment we only have a partial solution. Now, if we take a look at the error message again, say for example, for the WebP format image, try to copy it, it's telling us that this format is not supported on the write method. 
So you can't change the type of files that are supported on the right method, but what you can do is convert an image to PNG format before it's written to the clipboard. So that's what we're going to do now. And so this solution I'm going to show you is going to allow you to copy any type of image to the clipboard by first converting it to PNG. So the output on the clipboard is going to be a PNG file in all cases. Now, the way that you can do this is by writing an image to the canvas first and then extracting it from the canvas as a PNG. So for that, I'm going to create a new function here called write canvas. And inside write to canvas, what I'm going to do is wrap the entire process that I'm about to show you in a promise because it does include some asynchronous elements. So I'm going to make the return value of this function a promise. I can do that by using the return keyword before the promise. And when this promise is complete, I'm going to call the res parameter passing in the return value. So to write an image to the canvas, the first thing you want to do is to create a new canvas element. So I'll do that now using the create element method. Next, I need to get a context for that canvas. And that's going to be 2D. So in case you're unfamiliar, it's the context that you actually draw an image onto. Okay, next I'm going to create a new image object. And for that, I'm going to use the image constructor. And I set the SRC of that to the value of SRC, which I will define dynamically when this write to canvas function is called. Now I need to wait for the image to load before I write it to the canvas. So I can use image on load, and then this is the function that's going to run when the image has loaded. So the first thing I'm going to do, now I've got the dimensions of the image, is set the width and height of the canvas. And I'm going to set those to the natural width and natural height of the image. Now that I've set those dimensions, I'm going to draw the image to the canvas. So I actually write it to the context using the draw image method. So the first argument you pass in here is the image you want to draw. So that's image. And the next arguments are where you want to start drawing from. So I want to start drawing from the top left hand side of the canvas. And now that it's been drawn to the canvas, we want to extract the image as a PNG. So to extract the image, you can call to blob on canvas. So this is going to extract the image in blob format. You have available to you here the result, which is the blob itself. So I'm going to end the promise here and pass in the return value. That's going to be the blob that I created. And I'll make sure that the type it produces here is PNG. So I set that as a second argument within the to blob method. Okay, so now the write to canvas function is writing an image to the canvas and returning it as a PNG. So what you want to do inside the copy to clipboard function is to first of all call write to canvas passing in the SRC that you insert when you call copy to clipboard and that returns a promise. So you want to use the await keyword before it and the return value is the blob that you create. So we don't actually need to make any more changes now to the copy to clipboard function because it assumes that a blob is being written to the clipboard. So let's check if it's working now in the browser. Okay, so let's start with the WebP image. So this is one that didn't work last time. This time, if I hit copy, I'm no longer getting the right does not support WebP because we're actually copying a PNG. So I get the success message. And just to check that that really is working, I paste it here. So that definitely works. Now let's try it for the JPEG image. This also didn't work last time. This time again, I'm getting the success message. 
and that definitely worked too. And finally, we would expect PNG to work because it was already working before, but just for the sake of completeness, I'll test that with this new solution as well. So that is working too. So this is the way that you can copy any type of image file to the clipboard by first converting it to a PNG and then copying it to the clipboard as a new clipboard item. Now, in case you're interested in replicating this, I've posted the source code for this tutorial on my website. So I'll include a link to that down below in the video description. Now, if you have any questions about the tutorial, feel free to post them in the comments section and I will try and get back to you. And a small favor on my side, if you found the tutorial useful, please consider hitting the like button down below because that helps us with the algorithm, also helps others to find the video. And if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.